So eliminating the parameter, um, eliminating the parameter in this case is a little bit different um, because now, if you guys look at this, to solve for t, we'd have to use like the inverse. Um, we'd have to go and use like the inverse function, right? To solve for like cosine t. So we're not really going to want to use that to be able to like solve for t and then plug it into the other equation. What we're going to want to use is our format that x squared plus y squared equals r squared. All right, that is the equation of a circle. Yes. Y equals five. Yeah, that is. Thank you. Thank you. So the equation of a circle, which was provided to you guys in geometry, that is going to help us um, solve this. So if I say x is 5 cosine of t, well, then I can say this is 5 cosine of t squared plus 5 sine of t. Would you guys agree with me? Okay, therefore I get 5, or sorry, 25 cosine squared of t plus 25 sine squared of t equals r squared. Yes? Yeah. Then I could factor out a 25, and I could cosine squared of t plus sine squared of t equals r squared. And now what's cosine squared plus sine squared of t? 1. 25, uh, so it's 25 times 1 equals r squared. 25 equals r squared. Huh? So you could say r equals 5. Or you could write the equation just as x squared plus y squared equals 25. Because remember, we're trying to write it in terms of x and y, not t. So if we have x squared plus y squared, we needed to at least have that third variable, which would have been r. So you could say x squared plus y squared equals 25. And therefore, this graph would not represent a line. It would not represent a quadratic, but it would represent a circle. Huh? Well, I had the option of teaching it. 